just uh, look, we're, we're delighted um, to come to Murrayfield uh, on this tour. It's always a, a a game that we've always found extremely difficult, particularly this year against a Scottish team that we think's very is grown in strength and is on the rise. And and they've shown they've been able to win some big tests the last two years and was one I, th- I think we're a little bit nervous about. So, you know, I was delighted to come away with a, a good win. Pleased for many reasons. One is the uh, the composure shown in the last 20 and when you're away from home against a, a team that's got their, their tails up, it's hard to turn that around. And I thought uh, the work done by, by Sammy and, and the leaders on the park and, and the bench in particular really gave us a lot of composure and, and enabled us to finish that test very strong. So t- a test win we're very proud of. Yeah, it was, uh, it was tough. Um, I'm yet to play an easy <coughs> test match, but up here they're always hard. I think over the last uh, couple of years, the, the point margin has been very close. And uh, tonight, as Fozzie said, you know we were, we were under pressure and uh, really nice to be able to remain composed and actually just simplify things down and um, I, I thought our bench was outstanding tonight they just came on and were direct and really changed the game for us yeah I thought we started really well um, the guys were really composed and we just took the opportunities at the start there but um, I think it was our discipline then, then that allowed them back in uh, yellow card and they punished us when we were down one um, so it's something that we'll definitely look at. We've got a, a bit of a quick turnaround this week, but it's something that um, up here, you know, these guys, Scotland, um, they know how to squeeze teams, and we gave them opportunities there, and they, they took points, and all of a sudden, like you said, we were 14-0 up to all of a sudden being, being down by a few. Yeah, but I don't think there's ever conceded safety two points in a row on that after. Yeah, Well, at 23-14, I was wasn't overly excited. Um, it's, you know, I think because they, they were accumulating those points at that stage through, I guess, through pressure and um, forcing us into areas that um, it were probably forcing us into a little bit of lack of discipline, which um, which was annoying because we had to make sure we stopped that. But you've got to give them credit for that. So, mm. But, you know, we've you, you, you're trained for scenarios like this. And, you know, I think if you go back 12 months on, on the last two tests of the year where, where we tripped up in, in the north. We Both those tests, we were in contention in the la- at the start of the last quarter, but we perhaps didn't show the composure that we showed today. So I think that, that shows some good signs of growth, and, and that's with a few guys that were getting some opportunity, you know, and, you know, particularly the likes of uh, Mark Talia playing his first test in, in that sort of environment with that sort of pressure. Oh, I thought the likes of him, he'll be really proud of, of what he did. Uh, yeah, oh, 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 I, to be fair, I can't remember every other game and the impact of the bench, but I, I'll talk about this one because I was really pleased with it. You know, we we made a few changes earlier because we felt we needed to to change the pitches a little bit, and um, felt that Scotland were had a roll on and, and we needed to sort of try, try a couple of different things. And I think you know the likes of Rico came in and. I thought he was a lot more direct and forceful with, with his carry in the midfield and he brought a, a bit of a sharper feel to that. Um, I thought Cody was outstanding when he came off the bench and and TJ, um, you know, for his first first test of the year and, you know, he's been out of the squad, come in and well, I thought that was as good as he's played for us for quite a long time. So, um, you know, we're, we're delighted with that. Sam, did you think, I'll say, did you think there was one turning point Uh, to answer your question, no, not probably one mm. specific moment, but um, I think what it was is w- we just cleaned up our, our discipline. Um, we just, all of a sudden, we were getting uh, penalties ourselves, so then we could keep squeezing versus uh, us You know, being in our 22. I thought our, our game drivers put us in the right area, and all of a sudden we had an opportunity to carry close to the line. Um, Scott obviously scored a good try, so 
I just thought all of a sudden we're in the, the right areas versus giving away a penalty, Finn kiss, kicking to the corner, all of a sudden giving away another line out penalty, kicking to the corner again, taking points. So I thought that was probably the, the swing of the game, but not probably one specific <coughs> moment. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I have to look at the stats too. Um, I think the, the ref might have seen a different picture at scrum time in the last quarter. I think with that though, we've got to adapt quicker. We can't, mm. you know, have a, a cumulative penalties um, that, as it, as it shows, you know, they scored a lot of points because we gave them an easy ride, ride down the field. So that's something on us as players. We need to be able to adapt quickly, adjust, and then overcome what the issue is. Uh, you probably have to ask one of the outside backs. I've normally got my head in a, a dark, deep, deep hole in a, in a ruck somewhere. But um, the atmosphere is always awesome here, um, and you could feel it. You could feel it at the start of the game. Um, you could feel it all week. It's been an awesome week here, and uh, I think the crowd really wanted some running rugby. And I thought they, they, you know, both sides showed that at times that there were some pretty awesome tries, and I'm sure the crowd got them behind uh, both both sides. Did you think Tarapa seen the wrong picture? I like the ones you saw in the last quarter. Uh oh, really pleased with them. You know, I thought he's carried on how he played for us last year and then he's grown an arm and a leg since then. So, um, look, he's tough, I think, particularly in, in the games up here. He's well suited to the type of close quarter games that, that are played. And, you know, we're, we're delighted with his form. And it's, um, you know, he's, he's, he's a hungry man and he wants to play and he's playing really well. Um, it'd be nice not have to do it on your own line, so um, that's probably what we need to look at. But it, you know, it's one of those things you've got to trust your instinct. If there's an opportunity there, you've got to get in and go over the ball. Um, I thought Alice Fords did it well. I thought Dalton did it well. Artie did it well. Um, but yeah, it's looking at the the reason why we're there is probably the most important thing. Yeah, I said it after after the game uh, in front of the crowd. Like you could feel the emotion <coughs> in the stadium, and and it's something that uh, you don't take for li uh, take take lightly. Uh, it was really nice that uh, both teams came over and um, showed their their support. Um, you know, it's it's not an easy thing, but what he's done for awareness and the money he's raised so far, it, it's uh, it's very very humbling to to see. Um, what he's achieved. Kareem. How would you rate the, your current choice? That's almost like your set of centres, you know. My who? Sorry. Your set of centres. Uh, yep. Uh, pretty good. I thought they um, they were under pressure early. Um, Davey hurt his ankle. He, he threw an intercept pass. Sometimes it's hard to. You can go into a little bit of a hole when things like that happen, but I, I thought he came out of that quite strong. Um, it wasn't a game that I think we saw a lot of his skill set, to be to be fair, and so we, we'll need to go and have a look at that. Um, Anton, I thought his work rate just grew and grew as the game went on, um, and you quite often see that I thought it was a bit lateral in the first half, but um, uh, I thought he changed that a little bit in the second half and actually well, we started to look a little bit more like him with high involvements, which is the, uh, sort of a mark of his game. Yeah, really happy. I mean, it's, um, you know, you couldn't have done it any better, like score, score an early one, settle your nerves down and then score a pretty important one near the end. Um, and in between, you know, Caught the ball, strong carries, and um, you know, just really pleased for him. And uh, 
and you know we've been we've been watching them the last few weeks and been pretty impressed. So um, it'll be it'll be good to get that first one under his belt.